Based on whether we can predict the occurrence of a disaster or not, natural disasters can be further classified into disasters which can be forecasted, that is, predictable disasters, and ones which cannot be forecasted, that is, unpredictable disasters. Did you know that in the last 20 years, 30 lakh people have lost their lives due to unnatural causes? How tragic! And what is the cause of these 30 lakh deaths? Disasters, both natural and man-made. There is so much harm that comes with these disasters to life, to property, to communities. But something can be done to protect people from disasters, right? Well, we cannot prevent a disaster from occurring, but we can definitely try to minimize the damage and loss caused by them. Certain steps and precautions can be taken to minimize the effects of disasters. But this is not an easy task. These steps and measures need to be managed to ensure that during the event of a disaster, the loss of lives is minimized. This is called disaster management. What are these steps that we are talking about? Disaster management includes a series of steps. The first step is being prepared before disaster strikes. Rescue teams must be trained in advance and have to always be available and prepared to help people whenever disaster strikes. So this is pre-planning. We use the experience of the teams that have conducted such rescue operations before and incorporate their insights while training new people. Apart from that, People, in general, should be aware of the do's and don'ts in such situations. The second step is to fight and respond to the disaster when the event occurs. This is the stage when the disaster has already happened. Now is the time to use all our available resources and channelize them in the right manner without any delay. The idea is to minimize the response time. Next comes protecting people at the time of the disaster. Now this involves relocating people from the area where the disaster has struck and providing them with safe shelters, food, water and clothes. The final step of managing a disaster is to uplift the society after the disaster. Now, this involves assisting people in recovering their health and property. But it does not end here. What if the disaster strikes again? The rescue officers always need to be prepared for another event. As the saying goes, prevention is better than cure. Society as a whole must take measures to prevent or at least minimize the damage caused by disasters in the future. This can be done at various levels of society. At a personal level, individuals can contribute towards minimizing damage to our environment, thus controlling man-made disasters. Then comes prevention and preparedness at a group level. This includes your family and friends. Then comes the community level. The whole society comes together to minimize the effects of a disaster. Various non-government organizations or NGOs help societies at various stages of disaster management, whether it is being prepared or recovering after a disaster has struck. For example, Many times, you must have been asked by your schools to collect and contribute to the funds for disaster relief. Now, these fund collection programs are conducted by such NGOs. The final level involves the government. 
government is responsible for overall management and is involved at every stage that we mentioned. All these levels contribute towards one common cause, minimizing the effects of a disaster. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.